Today we're making the famous Mexican cafe de olla. Now, cafe de olla or coffee from a pot is how we would translate, which sounds kind of strange. Uh, it was really the first Mexican coffee that just blew us away. It is really unlike any other coffee uh, we have ever had. If you've ever tried it, you know what we're talking about. Yeah. If you don't, you're about to find out. Over the last few months, we have acquired a lot of different coffee gadgets, a lot of different contraptions. ways, contraptions to make yes. coffee. We have a mocha pot, we have a French press, we have a Chemex, we have an AeroPress, we have a Clever Dripper, we have regular coffee just a maker. regular coffee maker. Maybe that's it. We might be missing a few. We have a mini mocha pot. We have two mocha pots. <laughs> But we have never, believe it or not, after five years of living in Mexico, never tried to make Café de Olla. And today, well, it's today, time. it seems simple, but I have, I have a feeling we're gonna find a way to mess it up. Yeah. First things first, we're gonna need an olla. <laughs> café de Olla is café coffee made in a pot. Apparently the type of pot is actually important in preparing this coffee as it like lends to the flavors and things like that. But it's or so basically- so they say ground coffee, um, cinnamon, and piloncillo, which is similar to brown sugar, but a little bit different, but most similar, I would say, to tightly packed brown sugar. Some recipes call for cloves, some recipes call for orange peel, some recipes call for anise stars. I'm not sure if I'm saying that one right, but today we're going to give it a go. First things first, get the water ready. Time for my favorite, favorite part of the Café de Olla. Piloncillo. Pilon, piloncillo. Piloncillo. Oh, gross. <laughs> Cinnamon sticks are next. Now, I saw a recipe online where the lady was like, I don't know, she like took them and then she kind of like separated them to like release all of the flavors. Mm. I could be ruining this, but. Okay. Oh, oh, now I smell cinnamon. Oh my gosh, it smells like Christmas in here. Smell this. Oh man. Okay, so now I'm gonna do that to the other cinnamon stick. I'm gonna put in two cinnamon sticks. Two whole cloves. These things are tiny, but if you only need two of them, they must be mighty. I don't know if you're supposed to put the stem part or if you're, I'm supposed to like take out the little ball of the clove thing, but I would put the whole thing in there. Last, but certainly the most beautiful part, <laughs> star anise pods. Am I saying this right? Have you ever cooked with these? What or is these? this? Is it like a dried starfish? <laughs> I don't think so. I have no idea. I I have no idea. What else would this be in? Are you even supposed to put it in Cafe de Joya? Joya? I don't know. <laughs> Is there a J in front of it? <laughs> we have all of the ingredients besides coffee here in our Joya. Oh yeah, that smells good. <laughs> I can help myself. Okay, so now we're going to bring this to a boil. I believe until the piloncillo all like dissolves and melts in the water. So get this bad baby boiling. I'm definitely the wrong person to be saying this after we just demonstrated how many different coffee gadgets we have. But sometimes I'm just struck by how like we have a machine or a gadget for everything. Whenever really something all you need is something everybody already has in their house that doesn't take up uh, kitchen counter space and that's a pot to make coffee. Granted, I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it well. Other people make it well, but I don't know. Sometimes less is more. Reminding myself that so I don't go buy yes. other coffee making things. The piloncillo is entirely dissolved in the water. The water is boiling and quite warm. It smells like Christmas in here. Now the last and almost final step, we're getting there. This is a labor of love, is to put in the ground coffee, remove it from the heat, and let that sit or brew, I guess, for about six minutes. Now, 
Before today, uh, we weren't sure exactly which coffee to use. We were told we needed a dark roast and well, we decided what better coffee to use than our own because it, well, it would be weird if we didn't use our own. So today we're using our Lavanta Muertos dark roast uh, ground coffee in here. Ready to do Is this? Is that ready? I think so. All right, let's, let's... All right, first things first, we gotta turn this off. Off. Dump the coffee in. Now the most difficult part of making coffee waiting. That was the longest six minutes of my life. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh man. Mama! Oh my gosh. It feels like coffee and Christmas. Cafe de Olla. <laughs> All right. I don't know how this is really done. I mean, in case you guys couldn't tell, I'll preface it with this. We need to get the coffee in here without getting the grounds in here. But I don't know, like I'm afraid the grounds are gonna go through this. It is, it's not super. coffee right. might be a little too finely ground. You need like kind of coarse coffee. So we also have like a coffee filter. And then I'm just gonna use a ladle to get some out to put it in the actual cup. Look, look, before you roll your eyes, before you start to judge it, <laughs> how do they like, How's if it? you order a cafe de olla at a restaurant, do they just do all this in the kitchen and then bring it back out in the pretty olla and you never see this? Because otherwise I think you would get like chunks of cinnamon and definitely coffee grounds in there. Or is it all kind of at the bottom? Or right, is like are like all the grounds at the bottom, but I feel like the first thing I need to do is stir it. But then Dang. you just stir it and let all the grounds settle. Help us out. Oh, got a cinnamon stick. Nice. Okay. Be ready for tomorrow. <laughs> Plan B, you ditch in the filter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was too long. Well, that just went straight through, though. Seems like there's no point in strain, straining it if there's. If, <laughs> if it just goes straight through. <laughs> it smells so right and so good. I hope. Gosh, I hope it's good. I really hope it's good. Any final thoughts? You usually drink your coffee with cream. I, I do, but this but. is Pilancio, so it's already like sweetened. Okay. How'd you do? Nailed it. <laughs> That's really good. Actually, it might be a tad sweet for my liking. I think next time I might try a little bit less Pilancio. Oh my gosh, I, that's that's restaurant quality. I, I mean it. Wait till Greg tastes it. You gotta taste it. <laughs> All right, tell the people I was not being dramatic. I will be the judge. Now the interesting thing about this, amigos, is that I am actually the coffee maker at home. I am responsible for making our many cups of coffee every day. But uh, it just Hillary's way better on camera. She's way prettier than I am. So today she was making the cafe de olla. But let's see. This does smell good. That cinnamon is nice. Oh yeah, right, first sip, first like sip, I feel like even before it hit my tongue, maybe it was just the smells I could, that is really good. We nailed it. We did nail it, that is restaurant quality. I don't know, Hillary said it's a little too sweet, but. Maybe, I think it's perfect. I have a sweet, I have a sweet tooth, I, I usually eat things a little, or like I would put more sugar like in my oatmeal than Hillary would, so this to me is perfect. We've, Hillary's tried to make a lot of Mexican dishes. I thought that. Cocineta, and she's done a pretty good job on all of them, despite maybe tamales. What, what you and your abuelita thinks. Yeah, the tamales. A little dry. A little crunchy. Not so much. I'm sorry, love. I'm sorry. Thanks. This. For that. This is abuelita quality wow. cafe de olla. I mean, I've never had it from an actual abuelita, I don't think, so I don't know if I'm qualified to say that or not, but... It's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Or maybe just con todo coffee tastes that good, I don't know. Either way... That's really good. 
We nailed it. We nailed it. We nailed it. Now I know I probably don't have to ask you guys to do this because you probably already left comments, but let us know what we messed up, what we did right, everything in between. Hold on, drink break. We will be making this in the future, without a doubt. That's, that's really good. I think, I think the key is con todo coffee, dark roast. You can get some <laughs> on our website. I'm just kidding, um, but really you can. That How would you explain so this to someone who's never tried it? What would you say is like the major taste difference between this and just a normal coffee? Slightly sweetened cinnamon coffee. All natural. Was I going to say anything else? <laughs>